Hi, I'm Lewis, and this is Dio Planes. So today on how to wrap your paper, your airplane with monocle paper, I'm going to show you how to wrap your wing. So to wrap your wing, you probably have you have to have it around like this, uh, around four of my fingers, or about two inches from each side, or it depends because for when you're going to wrap your wing, you have to add, you have to. First, go like this on the tip, and then you have to go with the other side around it. So you have to cover your wing completely like this. So in this case, this wing is about four inches across and about uh, ten inches again across and wide. So now I'm gonna wrap it. I'm taking the paper off that covers the wing. Yeah. Okay, so useless, throw it away, you won't use it for anything. Okay, so now I have my open like this, my wing. I put it this way, like that. It's sum up a little. Okay, so you will grab the tip of your wing. And you will go like this, only on the edge. And like that, around the middle. Okay, so you would put, uh, you would tap it in the middle. Okay, wait. It's a bit hard when you do it wrong. So you would go like that. You have to grab it and then you would stretch it to this side. Once you've done it, it should look something like that. So next step is to is to make sure that it reaches that you should have done that before you start wrapping it so it does reach. In this case, don't worry if your wing doesn't have this. In mine is a wing from a Piper Cherokee 140, so it has like a little dent, not a dent, like it's it's an awkward wing. Let me zoom out so you can see it better. It's sort of something like this, like that. So it's going to be a little harder if you're, if you're doing it to go like that. So don't worry about that right now. Just worry that when you're going to do it, you stretch it the most you can. And when you're, this part, like yeah, the wing, like the opposite side of this, you're going to go like this completely, like that. And you're going to stretch it. Like stretch it, stretch it in both directions, like that. So once you've done that, make sure that it's tight enough. And then you cure it did both sides. I already stick it. It should look something like that. Here, like that. So when you're going to make sure that when you're going to do this side, this side is very stretched, like that. You'll fix, when you when you finish with your wing, you'll fix that after by uh, using a blow hair dryer. And you pass it over quickly with very hot air. And that will start to shrink. So... I already did this side, and if you have a wing like that, you you will just cut it like that. Now you're almost done. All you need to do now is stretch it and stick this to this like that. Okay, so when you're done with this part, it should look like this. It's very hard when you touch it like that. And if not, you just go over the with the blow hair dryer very quickly to stretch that out like you would do with this side. So when you're sticking this part on, you would first tap right here on the edge, tap there, stick it on. Stretch this part with the help of somebody or you can do it yourself, it'll be a little harder. You tap here, stretch, tap in the middle so there's no, it's not wrinkly over here and then you stretch again from here to here and tap here. So that should be glue on and then you go over it with the heat, with the iron. Now, in this case, I have this part that's left like that. So I will grab another piece of monocle paper and I will go, to, go over it. Okay, so what I did is I cut it off like that and then I left it like this. And then I have my other piece of monocle paper and I really took the little pl useless plastic off. And what you would do is you would, if you have a wing like that, you would put it off, like put it over like this. And to fit exactly. And you would just stick it and stretch it. Like when I did the other, you always make sure that when you're 
covering with your monocle paper, your wing, your airplane, whatever you're doing with monocle paper, stretch it. That's the most important part. Then I do like that. And that's it. So it's all covered and go over it. So it's a little like that. A little dent, not dent. It's a little wrinkly, but I'll go over it with the blow hair dryer. That's all you do if you can do it. Okay, so now we're almost done. Now all you need to do is grab this part and you put it like that on this side. Now all we need to do is the edges like that. Now this side, I have you just go like this. Or if you have a side, this if this is a side that's gonna go to your paint, like it's gonna be sticked permanently. I recommend you to use your monocle paper because the glue won't stick on properly. So if you wanna use it, you, you can, but I'm not gonna use it because. I cut it off because this is the size going to go to the plane, so I don't want it. I want it to stick good because I already have experience with my first airplane. plane I did, I covered the size that's supposed to stick to the airplane and it doesn't stick well. So this side, I just leave it like that. The, the top side, you don't want it to be bad, so it would. So when you're done that, you just cut this bottom part off if you like to you don't you don't have to cut it out but to make it look nice I'm just gonna cut it out so I just go like this and I'm only left with the top part so I just stretch it uh, like I do all the time I stretch it I tap it on one end like that tap Stick it. Mm, it's not sticking. Okay, so and then you go like this. You cut it because when you're gonna do a uh, round shape like that, you have to cut it because they want the monocut paper. Stretching it like always. Halfway done, and don't need this side. This I will do it with a blow hair dryer. And last, you stretch it. So now all you need to do is blow hair dry, and I'm gonna do that, and I'll be right back. I blow hair dried it, so you can see it stretched here. I let it um, too much time, as you can see a little dot right there. It's hard to see. If you leave it too much time with a blow hair dry on it on a certain spot, a hole will ho open and a hole will open because the monocle paper is getting heated too much and it's stretching too much that it reaches its maximum point of stretching and a hole opens. So be careful. So I stretch it, the only thing I need to work is this part, it's very hard, but it's pretty stretched like that. And now I'm going to show you the UB-130 that a lot of people have been waiting for, and here it is. So here's the UB-130, I saw two jars on it to help me with the elevation, because it's a little bit hard. Here's the center of gravity, it's almost, yeah, it's in the middle like that. So here's it has elevons. Here's the gyro that works. So elevons up, down, spiral, and up and to right. So that's a weird move weird. So I got the gyros to work. Thanks a lot for all your help. And so here's throttle, I'm gonna go minimum, half throttle, full throttle. And when I'm on full throttle, I'm gonna go up and down. So here. So this is the UB-130. If you want to see it fly with the gyros and everything, it, it looks very fast and has a lot of power. So if you want to see the UB-130 fly, this Sunday, just subscribe.